Hello and welcome aboard Ria. She is 2004 Havarasi 46 for sale by her second owner. Uh, Ria is the penultimate boat to leave the factory in Sweden of this class, the 46, and she has been used uh, for liverboard cruising and blue water sailing. She has a, completed two Atlantic crossings and is very well equipped to do so again. The 46 is a wonderful cruising boat. It's large enough so you don't have to make any compromises on comfort living down below and has a beautiful uh, lines, classic lines with big counter sterns and overhangs on the bow. Very good sea capability and comes in at 16 and a half tons. Walking around the decks of the 46, you can see we have three lower shrouds coming down here. This makes for a really strong and robust rig. The rig is by Selden Spars, silver anodized aluminium. Just a quick look up the triple spreader rig to the top there. She has an insulated backstay with an SSB radio. The current owner also installed a sat phone for one of the Atlantic crossings in 2014. Importantly, this boat benefits from hydraulic furling for the mainsail and also for the headsail, which we'll see in a moment. This means the boat can be controlled quite easily from the cockpit. More on that soon. Onto the foredeck, you can see it's very wide, has a large opening hatch for the foredeck. The two spinnaker poles on each side form part of the twizzle rig. This is a way of rigging two headsails for downwind sailing, uh, which means you can fill the mainsail away. There's an electric hand in this here, handling a stainless, uh, sorry, handling a, a, a chain, double bow roller. The port bow roller can be used for a re removable bow sprit. This boat comes with a Jenica and all the associated rigging. Also have the option for a removable inner forestay here. This can has an Elvstrom storm, storm sail that can be rigged in heavy weather. Looking back at the boat, you can see we have a deck step mast, lots of ventilation and hatches on the foredeck, all finished in this beautiful teak, which has had the corking redone in 2018. Back down the other side of the boat towards the windscreen. The windscreen has a canvas canopy. There is a brand new canvas canopy for the new owners. This will be uh, obviously included in the sale. She has frames for Bimini's, and also a cockpit enclosure but unfortunately these are the frames only back down the side we come to looking the cockpit the electric primary winches and main sheet winches are easily to hand here with where from the main the steering position this is a secure place in the middle of the boat being sent to cockpit which the boat can be steered from we have controls on the port side of the pedestal there mainsail excuse me bow thruster anchor up and down on the emergency bilge autopilot in the middle and then the all, all important hydraulic sail controls for the main sail and the jib lovely varnish and bright work here in the cockpit louvre companionway doors and underneath, underneath the screen you can benefit from these big chart tables chart plotter and radar screen on the port side. The center sectioning of the window is opening. You can get a good cool flow of air through here. With the Bimini, this remains a very comfortable place even when the weather's hot. Behind the steering position is the main sheet. That's on its own traveler here. It's easily to hand. We have two, this is one of two deck wash outlets for washing the boat down, salt water. Looking back, the 46 narrows slightly, which is very good for following seas. The boat doesn't get picked up quite as much. There are two weatherproof lockers here on the deck. These are quite deep, fenders, lines, etc. Rear benefits from a freshwater shower on the transom. There's a stainless steel swim ladder as well. Coming up, we can see a hydraulic backstay tensioner. This is manually controlled in the cockpit 
and we also have self steering gear on the transom. You have a popular gin and tonic seats on each quarter, stainless steel cleats and stainless steel rubbing strakes to all the cleats as well. She is a very handsome and practical boat. Just a quick overview of the cockpit again. You can see the four winches and the steering position really complement each other. There's engine controls on the pedestal as well and a beautifully varnished cockpit table on the front, which is suitable for four people. As mentioned, the backstay and the Vang are both controlled manually via this Navtech hydraulic control panel. Coming down the companionway steps, we immediately come into the saloon area on uh, rear. This has the armchairs, as you can see, these are super comfortable, great for relaxing. There's a drinks cabinet in between. So they do lean forward for stowage as well. There's plenty of stowage in the saloon area. All cupboards behind all the benches and the seating. All these hatches are opening and there are fans as well. So you can get lots of air through this boat. It's uh, generally stays quite cool down here. These settees uh, also open up for more stowage behind. If you can see, there's two shelves there. The table opens up to full width. Being leafed uh, like it is, it makes that the settees on the port side, they're much more usable. Uh, often with fixed tables, it does block access to those settees and they don't get used. Pass the forward bulkhead we have uh, two of the three cabins on the port side is a bunk room with a hanging locker plenty of stowage again and more opening hatches there's also a deck hatch as well the trim you can see in this video on board is all mahogany all in very good condition these bunks are all over six foot long the boat entire boat is serviced with heating diesel fired heating the forepeak is a traditional fit V-berth, a small hanging locker there. The stowage below, she does have a 10 horsepower um, bow thruster under here. And in this locker at the front is where we install the anchor windless motor, keeps it out of the elements. And as you can see, beautifully clean and corrosion free. More levered storage, a fan for the forepeak here. And on the starboard side, as we come back towards the saloon, you will see the larger of the two heads. That's the hydrovane for the hydrovane steering. So we have a manual sea toilet with a holding tank. Holding tank will be in stainless steel. Uh, you have hot and cold water for the sink and a large shower unit here with again, hot and cold mixer unit. Story, a large storage locker in there as well. Looking back, you can see the full width of the boat. We have these wonderful half bulkheads on Halbarassis. These really open up this area, make it uh, feel much bigger than it is, while still providing stiffness uh, to the hull. They have the vertical bars, which are great handholds. In fact, all of these edges make good handholds. Uh, as you know, Halbarassis are very solidly built. The craftsmanship is excellent. Uh, double stainless steel sink here with fresh water and salt water taps. This is the first of the fridges. It's very big, top loading. Storage above and below, three burner cooker with a grill. This is from Force 10. And underneath the galley sole, there is a, a hinged locker lid, which also is useful for storing food items, perhaps keeping beer and wine cold. Four steps come down to the main saloon. These are angled to help when the boat is heating over, grab rails on each side, large forward facing chart table. We have all the instruments here. There's a navigator seat and behind the navigator seat is the deep freeze, again, top loading. It can also be made into a fridge depending on what you're doing. 12 volt conventional switchboard, switchboard here. Uh, we have controls for the heating. There's two heaters uh, that service the whole boat. You can keep an eye on the uh, battery voltages and turn on and off all the systems. A short sweep of the navigation suite here, which does include Iridium sat foam, uh, SSB radios, radar, and a Raymarine multimeter. There's a walkthrough back here to a very well-appointed owner's cabin. You have a 
double hanging locker on the port side as we go past uh, a seat here a vanity seat which is opposite it's opposite a mirror and this large double berth so their bulkheads allow you to sit up uh, and read a book in bed and there's opening hatches all around apart from this one on the facing the aft this cabin has an ensuite same uh, facilities as the one forward, hot and cold mixer for the sink, hot and cold mixer for the shower, opening hatch and a manual heads with a hold stainless steel holding tank, heater outlet there as well. The forward heads actually has a hanging pole for uh, oilies, wet oilies, it's a great place to dry. I just come forward again to the saloon area, this is such a lovely space, um, it really is worthwhile having another just a quick sweep around. All these areas can be used, the seating, the galley, the chart table can all be used by somebody and yet still people can flow through the boat. You can just see a microwave peeking out through the cab cupboard, the galley cupboard there. Lastly, I want to show you the engine room. Uh, the access is here in the walkway, these two thick, insulated doors open up uh, to give you great access right on top of the Volvo Penta engine here. Uh, the Volvo has a uh, stainless steel propeller shaft that goes to a three-bladed gory overdrive prop and also has the ambassador rope cutter. A uh, very agricultural and robust arrangement down there which is exactly what you want uh, for long distance cruising. Here you can see we had uh, the fuel filters uh, which are readily accessed as well uh, as you come in. Getting a bit further in, you will see one of the autopilots. This is the uh, Python Drive autopilot, and that is connected to uh, stainless steel bars that make up the rod steering on the Habarati 46. This gives a really direct feel from the rudder. There's no play that you might find otherwise on cable steered boats. Uh, there's the water heater and the Fisher Panda generator in its sound insulating capsule. Uh, at the front, there's one more thing to show you is that the front of the engine bay is also removable. That's underneath the companionway steps. And there you'll be able to access the engine's uh, belts and fresh water pump. This engine um, benefits from having access to 920 litres of fuel. The boat was modified uh, to prov provide another tank, 300 litre fuel tank. Uh, she's very well suited for liverboard and blue water cruising.